guy. He's getting really close. Come on, buddy. That's a good distance right there. I'm going to take him out. Calm, traveling. Yup. He's not too worried. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I am pumped up on free workout right now, so sorry if I'm a little bit too energetic, but we are back on Verhanga Savannah. So you guys seem to absolutely love the tree stand challenge video. So that one is blown up a lot. So you know what? We're going to do it again. And I've got like a, a collar for pretty much everything on this uh, on this map. So we got a good chance to get some really good animals. So let's get hunting. All right. So we have finally made it to the first hunting stand here. Kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but this is Springbok territory and I'm still looking for a legacy diamond Springbok. So maybe we'll be lucky today. Now, I'm pretty sure I spooked everything running in on the way here. Well, I'm just going to give a little spot and see if I can find anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn. All right, that one is nervous and traveling. We might be able to call them in. So, Gemsbach, Gemsbach. I think... Yep, they like this one. All right, let's give it a try. <gasps> Holy shit. Oh, there's a little kudu. What's going on? Does she have a friend with her? I don't think so. I'm going to see if I can use my bow here. And silently take her out. Just wait for it. Oh my god. Oh, oh holy crap. Okay, this bow is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Holy crap, we dropped her on the spot. Well, this is going pretty well so far. You know what? I hate to move so early on in the challenge, but I think we're gonna have to head to a new spot. I don't see anything else coming in. And just like last time, I can't claim her until the video is done. So my next spot, I think I'm going to head up here. There should be some Gemsbok in and around this area. And I know that there's Warthog, Cape Buffalo. There's a whole bunch of crap. So we could get lucky. All right, guys. So we got a bit of a problem. Now, I'm not going to spot him. But uh, as you can see, yeah, <laughs> that's our stand right there. And he was heading towards it. So I guess we can just run, hop up in the stand, and hopefully he comes back after he's calmed down. Oh, mating call, blue wildebeest. All right, we got to get up in here. Now, hopefully this doesn't spook him off. But let's see. There we go. Did that spook them? Hell, I don't even see him. Oh, there we go. Level one. Level one. I don't think I've ever taken a wildebeest from this spot. So there could be some really good ones in there. Level... F oh, damn, he's not bad. I think diamond's 37. He's a potential. All right, you guys know what that means. It's time to start calling them in. Uh, we want to do this one for Blue Wildebeest. Oh, I see one right there. Let's hit this a few times. Oh, he's already coming this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Warning call. I guess we need to take him out. Let me just spot him real quick. Alert traveling. Ah, screw it. Don't worry, Pablo. I'll take care of this, brother. I'll take care of him. And he's just going to run off. Well, I hope that was a good shot. And uh, it's going to take a little bit for things to calm down now. Oh, I see some more oh, way down in there. He's kind of clipping in and out of existence. <laughs> Maybe we can call it in. Let's double check. What is that? Is it coming this way? Oh, it is. It's a decent blue wildebeest. It's going to probably be a gold, but I love... Well, it's a gold gold. So uh, I love that color on them, though. That is such a cool color. Yeah, calm traveling. We might be able to call it in. I'm going to hit it a few more times here. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, we got some new stuff over here. That appears to be a... Oh, I thought it was a Gemsbok. No. Ooh, all right. Yeah, they're calm traveling. They're getting closer. That right there. Now that is a Gemsbok. You know what? They might come in. They're close enough to hear my call. We just need a really good one to come in. All right, here he comes. Calm traveling. We might be able to drop him with a bow, but I don't know if that'll spook the others. Is there anything good? He's... Oh, that's a level... F oh, that's a really bad level four. That's a really bad level four. This guy. Oh, he's close. I'm thinking bow and arrow for him. Come on, come a little bit closer. Call him in one more time. I think he's a little bit confused. Doesn't quite know where we are. All right. Did he see that? There we go. 
Now that probably ruined him, but that's okay because he's a level three. And now let's just spot these other ones and see, do they care? Calm traveling, calm traveling. Yeah, they didn't really spook. They're attentive, but that's it. All right, we might be able to get a few more. Level one. That's our level four right there. He is close. I can probably hit that. That's a really good shot with the bow. There we go. That's a nice vital. Oh, can I get another one? Oh, we... Oh, wow. That was a that was an amazing shot. <gasps> no, just behind her. Just over top of her. Oh, no. Yeah, she's gone. Damn, I can't believe we hit her like that. Now, can we see a vital hit? I don't know, but... Oh, whoa. That might have been a heart shot. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we're doing pretty good today, guys. I love her Honga so much. Where the hell is that Gemsbok, though? Oh. Ooh, calm traveler. Ooh, that's the good one. I'm just going to take him out with a rifle here. That should have been a nice hit. And let's track him. Oh, no, what was that? Oh, there's our uh, buffalo. Oh, damn, that was our Gemsbok. Do I risk it? Do I take a risky shot? I don't think that one hit. But if it did, we definitely messed him up. I don't think he was diamond potential though. So I think it's okay. 337? Yeah, I don't. I think he was like a 20. So we're not going to worry about it too much. Yeah, I think we spooked pretty much everything. So I think it's time to go to our third hunting stand and our final one, which is way over in here. It's going to take a bit to get in there, but there should be a decent amount of blue wildebeest. And there should be Springbok, which is what I'd love to get today. All right, that is 800 yards away. That is an, uh, what is it? 14 minute walk. We're going to run there because there ain't no way I'm walking for 14 minutes. We spook shit. We spook shit. They'll come back eventually. All right, we finally made it here. Probably one of the most beautiful spots in the entire game. Whoa, what was that? Oh. Uh, mating call from something that I probably just spooked off by getting up in here. Maybe not, though. Oh, look at that right there. So we got a lioness. She is a level three. So, you know, she's a lioness. But there could be some good stuff around here. I think the uh, the wildebeest are going to be long gone. But they could still be feeding in this area. So we'll keep an eye out on that. Oh. Oh, Gemsbok. I see it. It's kind of hiding in there. We should be able to call that in. Yeah, she's too far to hear it. That's unfortunate. I'm hoping that she'll eventually just walk over this way. But I, I don't think we can. Ooh, that's a, that is a nice level four. Let's bring him in. So we're going to do, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Come on, buddy. You know you want to come in and check this out. We got a sexy little female Gemsbok over in here. Well, actually, probably a big female will be more attractive. Those females can get huge. Ooh, mating call. So these guys we can definitely bring in. Let's hit them with this. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, he's coming in. I'm going to take him out from here. There we go. That should have been a good hit. Let's spot him just to double check. 50, 75, 25 to 50. Oh, yeah, he's going down. And that guy doesn't even care. He's going to die on top of him. Yep, he died. All right, this guy doesn't even care. Nice. Now that was a clean kill. Oh, hold on a sec. There we go. Hey, little bud. You're kind of trash. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. I do have the right arrows for him. Calm traveling. Okay, it's not too worried. I'd like him to be about 40 yards out before I take the shot. Oh, yeah, he's coming in. Come on, little guy. Oh, is he aware of me? Yep, he is. We got to take the shot. Oh, God, I don't want to take it from here, but. Oh, well, we got him. But seeing as he didn't drop instantly, it might not have been a good one. Let's just take a peek here. Oh, is he gone already? Oh, no. Well, seems like he's already gone. We just have to hope that was a good shot. I don't see a blood splatter. Damn, I think we messed him up. Yeah, I think we just need to shoot him. He doesn't really seem too keen on coming in. 
Fuck. <laughs> that scared me. Okay, we got a really good shot on him here. That should have been a great shot right behind the shoulder. And we can spot him as he's running. Oh, where is he? Where, where is he? 25. Oh, yup. And he's going to drop. And down he goes. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, we got some wildebeest. They're alert and traveling. That's it. That's a decent wildebeest too. He's diamond potential. Probably won't make it. Oh, he's a four. He could make it. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are running. Oh, they're fleeing. Oh, they weren't fleeing from us though. They were fleeing from that lioness. That's what was bothering them. And that's bringing him in right in towards us. He's nervous traveling. He's right on top of us here. I think it's time we take him out. There we... Oh, shit. Oh, we hit him again. Did we save it? I thought I heard something else. That's our guy right there. Man, he is far out and he's walking. I'm going to try to take him out with my Malmer, but it's going to be a hard shot. Did we get him? I lost him. I don't know where he could possibly be. There he is. Let's spot him. 75 to 100. Oh, no. We hit. We got a bad hit on him. All right. So before we leave, because we pretty much butchered this area. 374. I could probably hit that. Oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I think we hit her. That one probably hit her. Oh, let's spot her. She's doing that little glitchy thing that happens when they get hit or they're running. Oh, she's dead. There we go. One of those was definitely a vital. And none of these. Oh, he's also diamond potential. Screw it. We're winging another shot. Ooh, that was a hit. That was definitely a hit. Now, the penetration on the Malmer is not as good as I would like it to be. So, I'm not expecting much. All right. So, now we're going to head back. Oh, damn. That really zoomed out. We're going to head back to this one. I have a feeling we're going to get something good over here. It's been a while. So, there could be something good. What in the hell was that? Oh, that's a, a mating call. Damn, that sounded like a wet fart. Oh, my God. That scared the crap out of me. I mean, actually, I thought it could have been there for a second. All right, let's jump back up in there. I didn't see anything on my way in. I heard some stuff. I heard some uh, some mating calls, but I didn't see anything, which could be a bad sign, but also could be a good sign. It means that they're not running. Let's see. Well, this is a bad sign for this spot. Man, I thought this was going to be the best one of the day right here. This little setup. But you know what? We're going to call. We're going to give it a chance. It, there might be some really good ones in here. I mean, that's not a very good one, but there could be some good ones in here. Oh, there we go. Level three. He's not too far out, actually. Where did you come from? I came from that direction. All right, I'm going to focus on calling this guy in. It should be this caller right here. The snort wheeze thing. Ooh, this guy might be coming in. Oh, yeah, he hurt us. He definitely hurt us. I'd love to get a Gemsbok today with a bow, though. But they seem to be uh, a little bit skittish for some reason. I just want to spot him really quick so I can tell if he's going to get nervous. Okay, he's still pretty calm. Yes, 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 yes. Why do he stop, though? Calm traveling. He should know where we are. He should know that there's a call here. Maybe I was calling when they get too close. Maybe that spooks him. Yeah, he's getting really close. Come on, buddy. That's a good distance right there. I'm going to take him out. Calm traveling. Yup. He's not too worried. And that's a nice vital. Ooh, there we go. He's not getting far. All right, let's spot him. It's 25 to 50. 
0 to 25 and I don't think he's making it out of those bushes and he's down right there awesome and that means oh now you decide to move that's about 200 yards I don't need to drop too much a little bit in the front and that may have been a little high but it may have been just just low enough well judging by that I'm gonna say that was a pretty damn good shot Ooh, here we go. That is a very small female. Oh, there's some other ones in there. That's a decent group. All right, we're going to keep trying to call them in. And we definitely have scent spray on, so they shouldn't notice us. Oh, hold on a sec. I didn't even see you. That's a... That's good. Oh, do I shoot him? with my bow he's quite far out don't know if i should all right you know what i'm gonna try to bring him in closer if not i might just blast him what is he thinking oh he's nervous yeah he's not gonna come in from that these guys are fleeing whoa what are they running from that's not for me oh there's a predator coming in all right here we go i'm gonna take out this one right here Oh, yep, that one's running. All right, here we go. Can I get a shot here? No, it's gone. Now, what is that? Something over there spooked him. And it's a lion. Oh, we might be able to get her. Wait, what, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a rabbit. Fuck it. I'm taking out a rabbit. Oh, damn. Come on, reload quick. I want him. I want him. I don't think I got him. Wait, that's our rabbit. He's running. Oh, he's going to go down. <gasps> no way. Holy crap. What a shot. Hit him right in the back of the head. <laughs> what? That was probably my most impressive shot, I think, of the day. Maybe even ever, because that was pretty damn good. You know what? Let's hit it with a follow-up lion shot. From... A decent distance. Did I hit her? That, oh, <laughs> I think, I think we might have hit her, guys. I think that was a decent shot. So you know what? I say it's time we go down and uh, we start collecting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was gonna, was gonna get off for the day, but is that a fucking lion? I swear I just saw a lion run past here. Yep, look at that. Holy shit, it's a nine legendary. What? Oh my god. Holy shit. You know what, guys? I don't give a damn. He's going down. I'm supposed to be collecting animals right now, but holy shit, I need to take him out. Okay, he's lining up for a good shot right there. Please be a vital. Oh my god, did I not get a vital on him? He didn't die. Oh, he died. Okay, I man, I really hope that was a vital. So, actually, I'm going to show you guys this before I grab all the trophies, but this was at the tail end. I just saw a glimpse of him as I was leaving. Is that a vital? Oh, no. Is it? Okay, it's a vital organ. Thank fuck. That looked really small from that angle. Please be my first diamond lion. Man, I was <laughs> I was just about to get off, too. I'm definitely going to have to show you this before all the, uh, all the end things. Holy crap. I wish he would have fucking come in when I was sitting up in the tree stand. But when something like this happens, you can't let him get away. You got to just fucking do it. That was such a risky shot. Holy shit. Holy shit. There he is right there. My God. Oh, I'm so frustrated. He didn't come into that fucking stand. It's not too far out. God damn it. 
But you know what? A diamond's a diamond. I hope he's a diamond. I didn't even see what his estimate is. What a good looking lion. And he's my first diamond lion. He just barely made it, but he is my first diamond lion. 48.92, that's going to work. Oh, no, we could have messed up big time, but we got him in the lung and the liver, so it's okay. All right, I don't know how to feel about that. You know, one part, I am so happy I got myself a diamond lion, but the other part, God, I feel bad it wasn't from the tree stand. So it doesn't count for the challenge, but you know what? I'll take a diamond any day. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to go to my trophy lodge and I'm going to set them up. All right, so the first one's over in here. We got a few, I think we got a few wildebeest. Look at that, vital, after vital, after vital, after bleed rate medium. All right, <laughs> that doesn't matter. So this guy, he was a level two. She was a level two. Ooh, a heart shot with an arrow. That was awesome. I knew we got her with a good hit. All right, this guy was a 35, a nice level four. Hit him with a double lung with an arrow. Pretty good, not gonna lie. And this one was a level three, 31.69, not great. But again, another arrow. Ooh, okay, that arrow lost a lot of penetration once it hit that bone. Normally my arrows will rip all the way through them. That, uh, that bone is really dangerous. All right, and this one was another, uh, another wildebeest. He was a four, easy, 35. I don't think we're going to get ourselves a diamond one today, but damn, look at that triple vital. All right. And here's our rabbit. What a shot. This was to the back of the head, right in the brain. Probably my best shot I've ever taken. 250 yards away with the 22 back of the fucking skull. Damn. All right. Here's our lioness. We got her with a vital hit and then did we mess her up or did we get her with another vital? We got her with another vital and she's completely fine. We hit her with a left lung, 366. Holy shit. We almost got a heart shot on her. Damn. And we did get a heart shot on her. That right there was a crazy shot. 386 again, heart shot dropped her. Now that might've been the best one of the day, Pablo. This was a level three. 34.5 is not bad for level three. And we got it right in the lung with a seven millimeter. Pretty good. This one was definitely not a level four. I can tell you that. That was a level three. 232 only would have been a silver. But we did get it with a lung shot. With an arrow. Damn, those arrows don't penetrate at all. I guess we cleaned this side out. So if you guys know if I missed any over here, please let me know. Because Pablo says we, uh, we got everything. But I don't quite believe him. So here's our gold looking wildebeest and he is a gold. We got him with a nice double lung right in the middle. There we go. So here's our first kill of the day. This uh, female kudu, we dropped her on the spot and we got her in the spine and in the lung. So that's why she dropped on the spot. And our Gemsbok was a level four. W wait, what? W huh? All right, guys, we got a bit of a problem here. It says I use the improper ammo for this animal, right? I used the 420 grain broadhead arrow. All right, double lunged him. Check this out. I've got it equipped right now. Classes two through seven. He's a class four. He's right smack dab in the middle of this. And it says improper ammo. Have you guys ever had that happen before? Wait, is that that blue wildebeest from before? It is. Oh, damn. I guess he survived. And this one was a silver. Hit it in the head. What? Oh, this was the arrow. Yep, we hit this one right in the head as it was running and ruined it. Well, it was going to be ruined anyways, though. All right, so I'm going to grab this lion now. We got her with a vital. And then we got her again with another vital. Nice. All right, here we go. We got her with a nice double lung hit right there. She somehow survived. And then we hit her again in the lung. Pretty good. That's a... Whoa, damn, that was a long shot. 375 yards. All right, I don't think this one was a level four. Oh, it was a level four, 267. Again, with the improper ammo on the 420 grain broadhead arrow. And because of everything else, just either despawning or having survived, or I really don't know what's going on. Uh, I think this is going to be the last one. That's really big. All right, Pablo, time to check. 
He's a gold. Uh, he's only a 303. That must have been pretty low down on the estimate. But he would have needed to be at the top of the estimate. Good thing we took him out with a 7mm because I don't know what's going on with these guys in the 420 grain. All right, I got a really good place for him. I think he's going to look good right here. All right, there we go. Look at the size of him. What a good looking lion. Now, he might not be too big by diamond standards, but damn, that is the biggest lion I have ever seen. So big thank you to all my channel members. You guys are the best. And if you're interested in becoming a channel member, you can click the join button down below, or I got a link in the description and you get some pretty cool emojis. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to drop a like. And if you guys would like to see more challenge videos like this one in the future, and hopefully I get a diamond during the challenge, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. My name is Rooster and I'll see you in the next one.